Okay guys, really briefly, I just wanna go over a couple business models that have been tried and uh, true over the years that really, really work with dropshipping uh, in this model. And I'm gonna give you two of them here today. I'm not gonna use two of, or, or either of them. Uh, I find that driving traffic organically just to my products uh, doesn't have as high as conversion rates as these models that I'm about to show you. But I do make a premium uh, on my products because I, I, my conversion rates are a little bit lower, but my, my profit margin is a lot higher. Uh, so you'll see why in a second. So the first one is the free shipping method. Uh, so the price plus free shipping anywhere to wherever you're sending it to. Um, the way that you do that is you go in shipping and you set up a zone and you set it up for free. That business model works really, really great. Um, when people see, you can obviously give them free shipping or you can just upsell your product slightly more to account for the shipping. It won't really matter on your conversion rates, at least in my experience it doesn't. People see uh, the free shipping, and when I mean the conversion rates, I mean upselling them. It will increase uh, your conversion rates with the free shipping business model. Uh, when people see free shipping or free something, uh, it really just, everybody loves a good deal and it drives that human nature of you know getting that deal. So whether you give them actually free shipping and take a little bit of a hit on your uh, profit margin, or you kind of just upsell your product slightly more, maybe four or $5 to account for that shipping cost, uh, and then advertise your products with free shipping anywhere in the world or to you know anywhere in the US or wherever you're shipping to, that really helps your conversion rates. So that's the, the first business model that is tried and true. Uh, it's been, you know, people have been doing that for years and years on Shopify drop shipping, and it's really, really worked well. The other one that I found works better that I'm also not going to use, but I would recommend doing this. There is a drawback to it though, is giving products away for free and having people just pay the shipping. And I say shipping in quotation marks uh, because basically what they're doing from your perspective is they're buying the product uh, at a lower price point and you're not making as much of a profit margin on that. But you are making a profit and that will greatly, greatly, greatly increase your conversion percentage. Um, because people see a free product, all they have to do is pay for the shipping and maybe the shipping to them is, is nine or $10. But essentially what you're doing is you're um, you're only you're ma you might make a lower profit margin, so maybe you're making three or four bucks, or maybe five to six or seven, depending on what your product is. Uh, and they all they have to do is, is pay the shipping, but so you won't make as much profit on each product potentially, but you will sell more products, uh, and that will greatly increase your conversion percentage when you do Facebook ads if you're running Facebook ads later. Uh, and I will show you why, and I'll go into that slightly in, in, in a little bit, but. So those are the two business models you can do. Uh, you can implement the, the product price plus free shipping, or you can imp implement a free product plus shipping. So those are the two business models that work really, really well. I'm not gonna use either one of them, but you are more than welcome to try them. They work wonders uh, in your conversion rates. The only drawback to that second one is that you're going to have to pick products that are a slightly lower profit margin. So like that mask that I was just showing you guys, uh, the collectible helmet, that might not be the best product because it, the price point already is originally $3 and people aren't gonna wanna pay $15 or something like that for shipping. So you're gonna wanna pick uh, products with lower price points, maybe like a dollar or two max, uh, ideally under a dollar or so, uh, because then you'll be able to make a higher profit and still offer the product for free. So that's just something to keep in mind, two business models that really, really work uh, well. Uh, I just wanna kinda go over those for you guys. You don't have to implement them, but if you want to, that's how.